This is a quick how-to guide on connecting Google Analytics from Alteryx. After you download Google Analytics Note, um, you notice there are three things you need to get from um, there. Client ID, client secret, and refresh token. So let's go to uh, Google. Firstly, you need to go to console.cloud.google.com and you need to log in your account. So I noticed there are some tutorials online, uh, but when I follow the instruction, the interface is a little bit different. I'm thinking maybe uh, Google has changed their interface from time to time. So basically you just want to find uh, specific things you want. So when you come to this page, uh, it's a dashboard. Um, the first thing you want to do is create a project. So uh, after here, I mean, click on the job down list. There are certain projects, and you need to go to create a new project. Since I already created this one, I'm just gonna create. Click on create new, and you give it a name. Then you can just. Um, do the following enter that project so after that this is my current um, project so let's pretend the testing is our new project It will take uh, a minute to be able to recognize. So if you go to view more projects, uh, it's not there yet. Come on. Okay. taking longer than I expected. Um, there are a lot of things you can do, but you want to enable the Google API. So find the Google APIs and enable Google Analytics API. It's a little bit slow. Okay. Click on Enable API and find the Analytics one. There it is. Click on Analytics API. Since I already enabled my, um, you just go here and click on Enable. So right now, see it's under my new project. So click on Enable. It will also take a while. The next step you want to do is to create a credential. So just follow their step. Go to credentials. Um, what do I want to do? Uh, actually, I think I skipped this one. I went to client ID. Um, basically, I just put a random name for the product name. I just follow what he asked me to do. Okay, now create a client ID. You need a web application and leave everything there. You can put a name if you want. But right here is the important thing. HTTPS um, developers.google.com slash OAuth playground 
create okay click click that's the only thing you want to change okay <laughs> so then you should get your client ID and your secret okay um, basically you want to um, copy this and save it somewhere um, or you can also just click OK because you can go back later next thing you want to open a new window and go to the URL I just put in developers.google.com all out the playground so go to that page to set up the credential here okay click on the gear setting and use your own OAuth credentials so come back and okay if I click on the previous page copy paste client ID copy paste Client secret, and then leave everything else. Click a close. Find your Google Analytics API version three uh, in the drop down list. Choose read only, and click authorize APIs. So I think we're good. When you see this request for permission, uh, you are good to go. Click on uh, allow, and it will take another minute to go back to this playground page. And then you will just wait for the token. Okay. And we have an authorization token. Just click on exchange authorization token for tokens. Okay, it says, uh, uh, never mind. You just need to focus on this area uh, where it returns the refresh token. And that's the third item we need. So you just copy paste and save it somewhere. And then you go back here, paste your client ID, client secret, and refresh token, you're good to go.